we are going to do the probability of getting three red marbles, both with replacement and without replacement as we're drawing them out of this jar. We're going to start with replacement. That means that I'm going to draw that first marble, put it back in before I draw the second marble. The probability of three red becomes the probability of getting the first one red and the second one red and the third one red. I can also rewrite this using that and instead as a multiplication. So I want the probability of red times the probability of red for the second draw times the probability of red. Well, as I go in to draw that first red marble, I know that there are seven of them out of the total. Seven plus three plus 10 is 20. So when I do that first marble's probability, I assume it's red and there are seven favorable out of 20 total. Now I go in to draw the second one. I'm putting that first marble back in. So when I go to draw the second red, I'm assuming it's red, there are still seven of those red marbles out of the 20 total marbles in the jar. So I have another seven out of 20. I draw that red marble, put it back in, and I end up with, again, there's seven red marbles out of the 20 total. I can go ahead and multiply these three together. I can also write it as seven twentieths to the third power. Let's put this into the calculator. So I'm gonna go parenthesis, seven divided by 20, and let's do this to the third power. So caret three, enter, I end up with 0 0.042875. So we can say that this is approximately 0 0.0429. Or if I move that decimal two places, we can say 4.3%. Now I've got it here in my calculator. If you needed this as a reduced fraction, I'm in my TI-84. I can just go to my math menu and then do convert to fraction. Notice how I didn't even type anything new. It just said, oh, you want your answer as a fraction? And I do. And I hit enter and it gives me that 343 out of 8,000. So I can also write this as 343 out of 8,000. Okay, now let's do this without replacement. I've got that same scenario, but without replacement, when I go and choose each red marble, I'm gonna choose a marble, and once I've drawn it out of the jar, it's gone. And I'm gonna go back in with one less marble. But my probability ends up being the same setup. So I'm gonna have the probability of a red and, which is gonna be multiplied, the probability of red and, so I'm multiplying that probability of a red. Now let's go in and draw that very first marble. I'm gonna assume that it's red. There are seven out of the 20 marbles total. So when I draw that very first marble, I end up with a probability of seven out of 20. Now here's the difference. I've drawn that first red marble and I'm going to now get rid of it, which means that instead of seven marbles, I now have six, three, four, five, six. So I now have six marbles remaining. And instead of 20 marbles total, I've taken one out. So that means that we have instead 19 marbles. So when I go to do the second probability, I've taken one red marble out. So there are six red marbles out of, since I took a marble out, out of the 19. Let's go ahead and take another red marble out. That means that I've got now five red marbles left, and I've also reduced the total number of marbles to be 18, because now I've drawn two of those out. And notice how as we're doing the probability, I assume that they're a red marble each time. Here comes the third draw. Now I've drawn two red marbles out of the seven that I started with. So I've got five left. And because I took two marbles out of the jar, that means the total number of marbles is now 18. 
take a look at how this counts down. I start with the number of red and I count down seven, six, five. In my denominator, I start with the number of marbles, 20, and then I count down 20, 19, and 18. Let's go ahead and put this one into the calculator. So I've got seven over 20 times six over 19 times five over 18. I can do this either as a fraction or I can do it as a decimal. I'm gonna convert this as a fraction right from here. So I'm gonna to go to my math menu and then enter to choose convert to fraction. And it gives me that reduced fraction of seven over 228. That's my probability as a fraction. If I type in that seven divided by 228 into my calculator and hit enter, I end up with that value as a percentage or a decimal. I get 0 0.0307, we'll call that a one. Move that decimal and we can write this as 3.1%. Now you might wanna see how to do this with playing cards. So we can also do playing cards both with and without replacement. Take a look at my video here where I do it without replacement. Thanks so much for watching.